Hi folks, uh, this is a photograph I took earlier today on the boardwalk um, in Morden Hall Park. I've done it lots of times, I did it yesterday, it doesn't seem to be going down too well. Uh, but I'm going to sort of make, an, or try to make an abstract impression, not expression but impression. Otherwise I'll be just copying a photograph which I'm loath to do. I like to, to try to make something of it that's a bit different. So it's quite a grey day today and I think that would make a nice sky with a bit of bit of light behind the, the thin cloud. I've got my cup of tea here. I'm using uh, 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 I've got five colours here. I've got cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium yellow, uh, yellow ochre, uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, and burnt umber. I can't see any great need for black in that, but I might. I might do. I like black. But I will put some black out, even if I don't use it. I like. I like me black. Sorry, watercolourists. You know, I've, I've catered more than enough for for you. But I like to do some acrylics because it gets me back into the watercolours because by which time I've sort of got some more enthusiasm for the watercolours. So I'll put a, I'll put a background in first. Um, I'm not sure whether I will... I'll make the horizon lower. But, if it, but I'll just explain it to you. This is the wetlands. It's a small area, several acres of beautiful... Uh, well, there's a lot of water. It's largely created, but the water table here in the Wandle Valley is quite high. That's why we've got all this water and the, the river, which I, as you know, I paint all the time, or impressions of it, runs behind where we are. And we're on our way on our bikes to Merton Abbey, Merton Abbey Mill, which is, I've got some pictures up on my Facebook. Um, of the mill, it's, it's the only working mill on the Wandle, and the, the whole area was given over to dye, dyes, dye making, print making, um, wallpaper making, Liberties. Liberties had their factory, factories such as they were, at Merton Abbey Mill, and it's very well known, but it's, it's all conserved. The, the Abbey's gone, but, but the factories, the William. The, the, the Liberties, William Morris, great designer, uh, all worked here. And Time Team was a Channel 4 programme. Time Team, introduced by Tony Robinson. Most of you will know him from Blackadder, playing, playing Baldrick. And they're lovely programmes. And they, and they excavate, and, 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 go, and, and next to the mill, there are the foundations to one of the printmaking uh, Factories that when I say factories, they weren't big, they were quite small. But then, limited, I suppose, were doing uh, quite a lot of bespoke stuff, uh, wasn't mass produced, we couldn't mass produce then. But an interesting area, very interesting history. And there we were having our cup of tea. So, let's let's get a bit of a, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow. I can't show you this because. My camera is set up. Right, so let's put in some distance and put a bit, a bit more blue in that. Uh, yeah, if you, if you don't like my work, it would be nice if you could say, give some constructive criticism rather than just put a thumbs down and have done with it. Now, somewhere in there, there is a, a red roof. It's masking some buildings, which I will uh, I'll put in just as a bit of red in that against that green. I'm going to paint all over this with uh, the sky, but I just want a way to go. Look, just a, these trees are all winter trees, and we've got. Uh, I won't put them in yet. I've, what I've done. This is on on top of a bit of Fabriano. It's half. 1511 size and I've painted over, I've, I've primed both sides with the PVA glue I'll keep it in a bottle ready mixed up 
And on one side, I've added some polyfiller, make my own gesso, polyfiller, multi-purpose, shrink and crack resistant filler for all internal, internal repairs. Great stuff. It doesn't dry off as quick as Plaster of Paris. So now we're, we're, we've got to put all these, these uh, grasses in. So I'll put them in a bit dark to start. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to pull me blind. I'm having the cat is by my feet. On my smock, I'd love to paint that. I might even, I might even do that. The sun's just come through the grey. So I might just, just as a reminder, let's just... Let's just put, put that there. Okay, and then we'll have the light coming through the pond here. Okay, that'll be a reminder. Right, so a bit of burnt umber, which should be the underlying colour in the, in the marshes. And mix it with a bit of a bit of the uh, PVA glue just to make it flow. See, cheap flow medium. So that'd be my my dark. All right, okay. So and then we've got the water. I'm making the pond smaller. So I'm going to have a nice grey, which will be yellow, red, uh, ultramarine, red, white. Let's have a bit of black in there. Shortcut. BVA glue. And that will come down here. And then we've got that lovely bit of light showing through under the where I put that sun. I'm beginning to more and more like to, to like my uh, acrylics and the watercolours to a certain extent to be sort of semi abstract -y impressions. But you want that light to be that to be dark, darker, I think. Right, let's go in with that sky now. So, we, so a bit of yellow ochre, a bit of black. There's some, some bit of black in there. This will be our grey sky. That light over the uh, trees, which has has dried off to a certain extent. Don't usually do this with the uh, sun. Let's just squeeze out a bit of this medium. bit of black, a lot of white. Just go over that, just drag over that sun, which is nicely drying. Not sure I like that grey yet. Um, let's just try all the black and white, or maybe, maybe burnt umber and blue. That makes a nice, nice, warm grey. Right. 
Oh, but I mean, eh? Try that one. It's a bit better, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, we'll have a bit of light coming down over the top of that. The uh, PVA glue is diluted, it's about two to one, two parts of water to one part of, uh, of PVA glue. And you can use it as a as a um, glaze. Let's get some bit of, bit of darks here and there. Probably a bit too dark. So let's start to lighten it a bit. Until we get something that we like. I'm really looking at the sky, but the sky is not as anywhere near as dark as I'm painting it here. So I'm just going to lighten up some of it. And all the time this is putting a impasto to shine on the surface of the paper. Okay, now let's change the colour down below to that sort of colour. So whatever you put down, you know you're going to change. So don't worry too much about it. With acrylic, you can quickly go over. Look at that nicer. So the sky will probably need to be a bit, uh, a bit light, a bit, or the, the water may be a bit, a bit lighter or darker on the sides to make that show a bit. Right, let's put the landscape in a bit now. We're, it's a bit ochery, a bit of yellowy, a bit of white, a bit of umber. Let's mix umber in a bit. White, plenty of white. Let's see what we can come up with. Be light on the top where it uh, picks up the, uh, the, the, the light of the sky. and the light on there and then we'll do the, the background trees these take a lot longer than watercolors aren't they But then it's a total, totally different way of painting. I mean, I love my watercolours. Just lining that up. That grey is just a little bit too grey, too dark. areas. All right, while that's drying off I'll go back over that water and get that a little bit darker than the sky. Let's try my brush. Lost and found. And I've got to put a reflection of those of the tree that I'm going to put in. OK. 
Okay. Uh, that will show reflection when I put the reflection in. But I just want to reinstate those trees now. So uh, they are sort of a browny, greeny. These all trees denuded of of their leaves in winter. See, you don't have to copy and create a painting. As you progress with your painting, you will develop your style and your way of painting, and if you want to be more exact, do copies, I mean, Michael Smith is a wonderful example of, of photorealism. There's no end to, to art. There's certainly no end of controversy about all this. But what is art? Been arguing that for years, haven't they? The so-called self-styled experts, but we're painting to please ourselves, really. Now that's that's quite quite good. Let's get a bit of bit of ochre in there, I think. A bit of that brown, just to make a little bit of of a variety in there. And the red in there is going to be a bit of a bit of a roof. Now, clean the brush. I have to go back over the uh, the, the grass. The grass is now. Uh, now I could change the brush for that. Uh, I reckon. Look, I've got this brush here. I reckon I could do something with that. Uh, so it's a sort of a, a yellowy, ochery white. It saves painting everyone, doesn't it? Just gone through. They're very friendly cats, Harry. You've watched him grow up, some of you. you. Used to have Freddy, but he got run over. Very sad to say. He was lovely, lovely. He'd keep me company when I'm up in the loft, in the loft room, painting away. With a cat down by your side or trying to get in on your lap. Lovely. I'm going to do the same with some burnt umber in a Okay, how's that? Tea. I did another one yesterday that you didn't see. It was another Cornish rocky shore. Very simple, small one. But somehow I pressed the... I've started the recording and I pressed something else and it didn't record, and it's the best one I did yesterday, I think. It's on my Facebook page, Dave Usher. Right, now I'm going to just go along with just a little bit of a tint on the tops, those, just a little bit of ochre. Look 
I don't know if you can see that. Just picking up. This is only a cheap, cheap old brush. I think I bought it in uh, Menorca last year. Did a couple of watercolours there. They're, they're now in New Zealand. Friends went, have gone back now. They went, went with us the second time, second year running to Oh Harry. Can you hear him? He's very vocal. Right, let's just drag. So you can drag over that quite quickly. Now let's get some of that umber now. And just just put some of that in. Squeaking away there. I've done this several times. So I'm covering up too much of the light now, so I'm going. I'll go back over that when it dries. This is just the background in the depth of the shadow. And in the base of that, we've got some dark to show the shadow. So we we'll bring that in. darker than that. Okay, coming on, clean the brush. I've got some old Chinese uh, bristle brushes that would do this. Look a little bit more golden, so a bit of red with it, and yellow. Oh, it's so gorgeous to, to see, and you think, how can I paint that? Well, we can't improve on nature, can we? So we've got this nice dark line around there. At the base of these reeds. coming on. Now I'll, I'll do these trees. I'm going to move the trees away from the centre a little bit. I can see a bit of a sun in this. So I'm not too up. I don't know if you can see that. It's just there. Just poking through. Uh, A bit of dark, a bit of brown in
Right, I was going through those trees, weren't I? Right, they're, they're, I think they, no, they're not oaks. They might be oaks. So, just a bit of dark. I'm going to put them over here. Quite high. They're sticking out, in, they're in front of the background, that's why they're so, so large. The shapes right. Did a bit of vigor work in those, I think. And then we've got another one or two here. This is just a bit of black and burnt umber. And anywhere else we've got some trees. Just show you some shapes here. Okay. Right, I'll let that dry. I'm gonna go back on uh, no, let's get the shadow, let's get the reflections done of those. There's not a lot of uh, that we're going to show or in any detail. Those darks are still not dark enough. Just reflecting what's above is putting in below. Not sure how that's working out. Okay. Get my inch brush and we get some lights back in. Just dragging through those little hairs. Any more of those? Actually, this is more impressionist than abstract expressionism. If we put something above and then something below, it reflects. Uh, right, got that spot on there. I'm a little to one side of the camera because the, the the screens in the way. Speaking to Alan Owen earlier, he's just a, one another camera on line. It's a point and shoot, ordinary camera with about an hour batteries. Most people seem to be using them rather than camcorders. Okay, right, a bit of a, a little bit of calligraphy in the tree, I think. I'll get the rig up. This could be tricky. 
just the black, uh, the blue and umber, plenty of water. Otherwise, it won't show. So, just mm. do a couple of trees in here. Does it? Just a few, you don't need to do them all. I will have this going out of or a bit more foliage, I think. Just change that then. I'm going to finish today and then we'll. Uh that dries off I'm going to put a little bit of a, a roof and back there just a little bit of a red roof ish Bit of a chimney on it. A little bit of white in there, I think, for a then I'll cover up most of it, some of the greyish white. Okay, let that dry off. I'll do a bit more on that, those reflections, I think.
okay well I think that's about all I can really do with that and let's just go back to that landscape that dark green red and we'll just put a little bit of that in here dark in there to try to make that the light on the top of the grasses look lighter. Oh, I think that's good as I'm going to get that I think. Uh, we've got some some good single grasses that you can't see in in this bit but uh, coming down now I, it sounds like I'm going back to bits of realism, isn't it? Uh, let's just pull some of them down. Uh, right, OK. There's lots of these. Okay, I'll put a signature on it, and then I'll put a mountain. Oh, you won't be able to see the mount. I can't get far enough away. From the camera, I mean from the work. I don't think anyway. Uh, no, you might be able to see a bit because the mount is. Uh... Oh, there it is. Let's just clip it. If I can find a clip. Okay. If I bring the camera away a bit, I might have to do a bit of an adjustment. Uh, oh, there we are. So that's honest, isn't it? I'll show you the photograph, not that it matters. We've created a piece of art. So there it is. I've lowered the uh, water line to give me more of a, a sky. I hope you enjoyed that folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.